Hey everybody. Today we've got asparagus in pint and a half jars. Perfect, huh? So I thought I had five bunches, but I have four. Well, I, I have five, but I wanted to keep one for tonight. So we're going to dry pack uh, in the pint and a half jars and pressure can them. So let's get to it. My Presto uh, pressure cooker, there's a little line on it. It tells you to fill it too. It's about three quarts of water. Okay, we've got asparagus and pint and a half jars. We have three quarts of water in our pressure canner. My lids are on the other side and warm water and I have warm water heating up in my kettle. We're gonna raw pack the asparagus, so let's get it into the sink and get it washed up and packed in the jars. So what we're gonna do is this will naturally pop off the woody part and we're gonna throw that into the compost bin and we're gonna measure these out leaving one inch of head space. This one's a little long, so I'll cut it a little bit shorter. So let's get all these washed up. Okay, we've got five pint and a half jars and one pieces. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of canning salt to each of them. I have had a terrible cold, me and Mr. Girlfish. hot water um, leaving a inch head space so these are pine and a half jars so you have to pressure can them for the amount of like um, if you were doing quart jars so we're going to go for at my elevation uh, We'll be canning for 40 minutes at, eight, at 10 pounds of pressure. So I'm going to fill these up and get the lids on. Okay, we need to debubble them. Don't pull them back out. <laughs> okay, now let's clean the rims of the jars with some vinegar. So these are pint and a half. So we'll process them like they were quarts. So that will be 10 pounds of pressure for 40 minutes. Let's put the rings on, fingertip tight. Okay, now we're going to add them to our pressure canner. That's been, it's got warm water in it, been patient, patiently waiting for me to put them in. Okay, so now I'm going to put my lid on and you want to check your vent pipe to make sure that you can see air through it, that it's not clogged. Line up a little I have little arrows here that where I can line it up. Drop it down. It's always hard for me to do because I'm not very strong anymore. Okay, I got it closed up. 
I'm going to gently bring the temperature up until the lock pops up, the air pop locks up, and the vent pipe starts releasing steam. Once the vent pipe starts releasing steam, then we'll let it steam out for 10 minutes. Then after that 10 minutes, we'll add our weight. So we'll be back. Okay, I almost forgot. You want to add vinegar to your water so you don't get cloudy stuff all over your jars that you have to clean off. It's just the way we do it. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna lock it down. Bring it up to heat. Okay, the airlock has popped up, and we're going to let it vent, and this pipe vent for 10 minutes, and then we'll add our weight. And at that time, we'll work three minutes of pressure. 10 minutes, we got to wait. Okay, now that the air vent has been exhausting steam for 10 minutes, we're going to turn this off. And place our weight on the vent pipe. We're going to bring this up to 10 pounds of pressure, and at that time, we'll start our timer for 40 minutes. But let's bring up pressure. Okay, now that we've got it up to 10 pounds of pressure, we're going to set our timer for 40 minutes. The processing. 40 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. Okay, we've completed the 40 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. So let's turn off our heat and we will let this drop, the pressure drop to zero on its own. Do not, do not remove your weight. Okay, now our pressure's down. We're going to remove our weight from the vent pipe and take the lid off. Take them out and set them down and leave them alone for 24 hours.